All right, guys, I haven't checked back in a bit. It's 1040. I just finished that book. I just finished it. I read the last 300 pages later this afternoon and into the evening until right now. I literally just finished it. But that's the end of the trilogy, and it was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I feel fulfilled now. My husband's out in the kitchen listening to music, cooking. But I'm probably going to head to bed. Zaya's still up. Just because I lost track of time. And uh, she's taking advantage of that. But that's okay. It's the weekend. It's Friday. So I'm going to go up to bed. And uh, yeah. You just have that feeling after you read a good book. Or watch a good TV show that comes to an end or something. But yeah. Really enjoyed it. That whole trilogy was good, good for me. Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy and Violet and Boris and Francis out there. Freddie and Jerry's out there in Fergus. But anyways, it is Saturday morning. It's about 10 after 7. I got up around quarter after 6. We did our routine. It's not raining out now, but I think it's supposed to be thunder showers today. Uh, we'll see. But I just emptied the dishwasher and started to load it back up. There's always stuff when I wake up in the morning. There must be some sort of elves or something that comes in parties, and then there's a mess. I think the tribe is called Teenagers, I think. So I'll have to get after them today. And I think their leader, also known as Husband, is part of that group. Anyways, I got it all cleaned up. I need to turn that fan on. I'm hot. Um, I'm going to have a shower this morning. I need a shower. Violet and Boris both woke me up this morning, which is a high time I got up. But, um, yeah, I'm going to let the kids sleep for as long as they need to sleep. I'm going to, oh, i got to turn I am, I find it hot. It's sweaty, kind of. I'll just have it on gentle, just for a few minutes, just to cool down. Like, it's sticky, hot kind of thing. Um, oh, yeah. I'm not sure what we're going to do today, but we'll get something done. So, I just wanted to greet you with my morning greetings and uh, have my coffee. I need to go and edit it, like, finish a video I was editing. Put an ending on it so I can post that today. So, I'll probably do that after my coffee, just so that'll be that. Ooh, my face is all blotchy and hot and itchy. Ooh, I took a Benadryl, so I haven't checked back in a bit. It's like one o'clock or something. I, if you see my video the other day, I ordered microphones for my phone because I just opened the top. I'm just taking it out now. Uh, wireless lavalier microphone. There, Boris, get away from those. Said it would be work for an Android Samsung phone. I'm hoping. <coughs> Boris is right here. Like his nose is right there. All right, it comes in a nice little zipper case. That's convenient. Oh, good. It comes with two little things so I would just have it like that it probably has to be charged up I'm assuming it comes with a USB cord just like my phone one it comes with uh, one of those things I'm assuming goes in my phone so maybe not I don't know I gotta look it up and then it comes with this little thing that can go in the bottom of my phone too maybe that's what it is so, I was all in this little bag. I'm going to get this instructions out. And we'll see. Microphone that microphone indicator, microphone type C, charger point, port. 
turn on and off, please. Five. I need to turn the big light on. Just. Great. Let me hold it up so I can see. Number five. How do you? Sorry, let's go with that. Work with phone. Step one, plug microphone receiver into phone. After the plug-in, the receiver indicator flashes blue. Right, I'm going to try to do this while you guys are hooked up. So this should flash blue when I do it. Hello? I'm just going to try it and see. A little blue light is on, and there's a blue light on that thing, so I'm not sure if my voice is any louder or not, so I'm going to do a back play. I don't think I'll really get to know for sure until I unload my phone and listen to it on my computer. So, I'll see if there's a video or something I can look it up for. guys I'm charging that microphone and we'll see how it goes but I just folded up a bunch of Mazai's laundry like bedding there's one more dryer full of like blankets and then her she can bring her bed stuff back upstairs well hey friends I haven't checked back in a bit I uh, just took it easy today honestly I edited a video Mally made spaghetti and meatballs for supper and that's what the kids had. I'm just outside now. It's about 6.30. Um, I should have a cup of tea, but I have a thing of water here. And, yeah, I'm going to... I'm just starting a new book. I'm not that far into it. Um, I'm not even that far into it. That's just holding. I'm using um, one of my mail cards that I had from Jane a couple of years ago. Like, I used my old mail cards as bookmarks and um anyways this one's a jack-o-lantern which is cool but this one is called bad moon rising um this is book three in in the trilogy pine deep maybe trilogy i think by jonathan mayberry he's a uh, ram stoker's award winner and it's really good i've read the first book two years ago the second book one year ago the third book this year but it all takes place around halloween in this little village hey and um like hay rides and all that stuff but it's it's horror it is and uh that's what i'm gonna start picking up on now um i got this from three books i'm sure it's all beat up i love books like this love it it's all creased and crinkled but uh, it just shows that it's well loved and i'm gonna read it now well, good morning, friends. Oh, I don't have my microphone in. I charged it yesterday, so I'll have to hook that back up after. Anyways, it's the next morning. I'll probably do a squisher because I know I did not film hardly at all yesterday. But I just made myself a coffee, and I realized my husband got home last night and brought me a Tim Hortons one, which is sitting in the fridge, but I might have that later or whatever. Anyways, it's Sunday. 
Uh, kids have school tomorrow, so they all gotta have baths and showers, and I gotta like pack stuff for lunches, and um, I might try to do that pantry today. I'm not holding myself to it, but I might do it. Maybe we'll see. At least the tall one beside the fridge. And um, yeah. Anyways, um, I just wanted to pop in. It's um, about ten to seven. I got up around quarter after six. Not that. Not that. Like, we weren't for a very long walk, but took these guys out to take care of their business. It's muggy and misty out. And, yeah, everybody else is still asleep, so I'm just going to enjoy my coffee, and I'll check back in a bit. I had my coffee it was bad I haven't done it in over a year probably maybe longer I have two and a half of those Dollarama bags to get rid of either there's sticky stuff all over it because one of the table syrups leaked so that's wonderful um, and just stuff that's really expired not a little expired really expired or things like that have been opened and left for months not using them um, like pancake mix and stuff that's been open for six months or more I am not going to no if I was starving yes but I'm not so <sighs> anyways I will do those top ones but I just want to let those dry a minute I need a drink of water I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do <clears throat> the problem with me in these covers is I just stuff stuff in there. The kids stuff stuff in there. My husband stuff stuff in there. I'm thinking what I'm going to do for the, at least the bottom two shelves is stick stuff in there that I have in the laundry room, like my cases of tomato uh, pasta sauce, to, you know, tomato sauce. They're still, ooh, they're still in the. I gotta turn this up higher. They're still in the cases, and they're just on the floor in the laundry room. If I can put those in the bottom of that pantry. There isn't going to be space to just stick stuff in there, at least down there. Um, I'll use the couple middle shelves for things that we use on a regular basis. And then I can use the laundry room for other things that I don't use as much. Maybe. I'm just rolling this around in my head. I don't know. But, um, yeah. I just need to sit down a minute. Let those shelves dry. I don't want to put stuff back in there when they're wet. And I'll just wait 10 minutes. It might not be completely dry, but at least just to, you know, get their bearings of 
being cleared out for a minute. Ooh. All right, guys, I'm sorry I continued on without you. I had to charge you, and the kids got up, so it was a frenzy, but I did these two shelves. Yes, it's still chalked a block full of stuff, but I got rid of stuff that I needed to get rid of. I know exactly what's in here. We have a mountain of jello. That's a whole aisle of emergency cakes from Papa. Thank you, Papa. Some sugar, some Crisco, uh, some cocoa. Behind the cocoa is baking powder and baking soda and vanilla. Those are the most common things that we use. Up there, there's more friggin' jello. Cause guess, so guess what? We're, we, we'll be eating every week. <laughs> I need to use some of that up. And up there is like coconut, brown sugar, icing sugar, psyllium husk, you know, things like that, graham cracker crumbs. I throw anything that has been opened and sitting up there, anything that was sealed and still good, I cap. So I put all the sprinkles in one big giant Ziploc bag, all food coloring in one bag. Those are cupcake liners and things. Those are cooking, like baking spices, all spice, you know, nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, all that kind of thing. Here, this is not going to be our working pantry. This is going to be our storage pantry. I'm going to, I'm not doing that today, but that's going to be like when I get groceries, go out there, things that, you know, things. That's a container like with ketchups and stuff. There's some fruit cocktail, some jam there. These are all canned vegetables there. Um, some cranberries, mushrooms, carrots. I don't have a whole lot. I do want to get some more, but I don't have a whole lot. This is generally um, kidney beans and black beans, tuna, sauerkraut, canned ham, and extra overflow of sauces that I have because I have a shelf of sauces. I might need my flash on just a minute. That's a little bit better. Um, I have two of those broccoli cheese rice things, a Miracle Whip. Um, there's balsamic vinegar, apple aged white wine vinegar, some manwich, two things of New England clam chowder, chunky soup, some pickled beans from my mother-in-law. This is all pickled uh, claw hogs, fish like shellfish, and a sleeve of crackers. Down here is pickles, more sauerkraut, and I have. Those cases of craft dinner my husband got, I don't know, last week sometime. I left them right in the cases, and there's a couple of those pasta salads I just stuck in there. Look at all the spaghetti. And this big bag is a miscellaneous of macaroni, those little shells. Get your nose out of here, Boris. Uh, penne, like, I just, I dumped them in there instead of having a whole bunch of random, like, I should dump that in there. I just found that afterwards. Um, down here is all sauces. Ketchup, mustard, Diana's chicken rib sauce, salad dressings, plum sauce, anything that I have that is just extra till we need it is there. And down here is all pasta, like tomato sauce, all of it, except for like there's some diced tomatoes, uh, one thing of tomato paste. And then behind this right here is all the bags of rice that I have. Um, I think there's four bags of Botsmati rice, one bag of jasmine rice. They're all there instead of sitting on my laundry room floor. So, whew. Uh, it's never going to be minimal. We, we have a big family. I gotta, I gotta have food. And now everything is up to date. Everything is where it should be. And I know what we have. So, hip hip hooray. Oh, and I did wipe my table off and sweep my floor. I need to deal with that because the dishwasher is done. These are my husband's pistachios. He can't seem to find oh, the nose in front of his face, so I'm putting them right there so he knows where they are. Um, it doesn't really fit there nicely, but at least he'll be able to friggin' find them. All right, guys, I have not checked back in quite some time. Um... I'm just going outside. My niece is riding his bike. Violet and Boris are out here. Um, I gave Maze a bath earlier today. I edited three videos. There he goes. Got a set of clean jammies on because we're not going nowhere today. Tomorrow we're getting our firewood delivered. So we're going to make sure that that's cleared away so, um, you know, the wood truck can get in here. And... Violet and Boris are 
right there watching over in Devon's yard. They're doing something. So they're keeping an eye on over there. Oh, here comes Zaya. Get my bare feet on the ground and just sit out for a bit. It's supposed to be thunder and lightning all tonight, but at least it's not raining now. And it's supposed to rain for days and potentially, you know, the big gust of hurricane, gusty Lee. Hopefully not, but I'm going to prepare for it. What are you doing, Zai? Um, you know, whenever my, one of my classmates drop by, he always sees me in the middle Who does? My classmate. Oh. What classmate? Lemmy. Lemmy. Yeah. I don't know who that is. Always sees me out here. Well, I'm out here with Violet and Boris. Anyways, yeah, I'll check back in a bit, but I have been doing stuff, just not on film, because I've been sitting in front of the friggin' computer, and I want to try to get all my videos edited, in case, you know, just in case, and yeah, I don't know what we're going to do for supper, there's leftover spaghetti, or bagels, or whatever, I'm just going to wing it tonight. Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from another day. I am hunkering down to do some editing today because uh, I have some videos to catch up on and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I know this video doesn't have an ending on it. I don't even know what day it is yet, but I'm just going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.